Hi guys. Wanted to do a, a quick overview of my XTR trailer from Vintage Trailer Works in Dothan, Alabama. Mine is a 5x10. They make them also in a 4x8, 4x9, I think a 4x10 also. Also a 5x8, 5x9, and mine's a 5x10. There's also a bigger one. I don't know exactly the measurements on it, but it's a little bit taller also. Also going to be heavier too. Anyway, mine's dry weight tops in at about oh, 1600, maybe 1700, because I got a lot of stuff on there. Uh, but that's dry weight. Anyway, up front, I have a battery box. I need to get the keys to open it right, right quick. Have the uh, stargazer window up front also. Mine has two doors. come back to the inside and get the battery box thing out of the way this battery box has a lock on it where you have to leave the key in it while it's open I happen to have two 95 amp hour batteries. They're both uh, lead acid. I also have the solar panel cord in there. And I'll show you that part a little, little bit later. But anyway, you can't uh, take the key. Uh, you can't leave this thing unlocked with the key in it. You have to take the key out. You have to relock it to, to take the key out. Right now it's locked, it won't close. So I'm gonna just leave those in there so I can close it. Relock it, because I don't need it open. Mine happens to have a two and five sixteenths inch ball on it, straight standard ball. I've got my uh, hitch lock on it right now, so uh, the hitch lock is from Proven Industries, also. Uh, but it, mine takes a two and five sixteenths inch ball because that's what my hitch is. But normally they come with a two inch. They, also have the option for uh, uh, the multi-axis thing and also uh, a pendle hitch if you like. Got seven pin. Uh, connector for lights and power while you're driving down the road. I have a Expanded metal basket up top, up up front, between the battery box and the trailer. That is five foot wide and 19 inches front to back, and uh, mine's uh, about a foot tall. But mine, I had special made to where this upper section doesn't come with it normally. You have to ask them for that. One of the handles I actually put on, there's another handle inside the trailer just like this. Uh, a porch light, uh, ventilation uh, ducts on both sides. Comes with 
uh, 30 by 9 and a half by 15 is what mine came with and they're almost the same size as my Jeep tires which are right there but it's just maybe a half inch shorter it came as an option to get one jerry can with mount on it I actually bought another one and now I have two jerry cans in case I get somewhere where I, you know gas is scarce I'll fill up the Jeep and fill up both jerry cans and I'll have 10 extra gallons one of the options I got was uh, a hot water shower runs on propane plugs straight into your water uh, connection right here I've got my extension cord hanging on it right now but uh, I haven't actually used it yet which uh, shame on me but anyway it runs on propane it takes two double uh, two size D batteries to operate it and I'm looking forward to using it but I just haven't had the, the opportunity yet comes with the shore power this little black thing right here but is for your water inlets I don't have it hooked up right now but soon I will back around of the galley has a slide out for a fridge or a ice chest I've got a fridge on there right now fridge freezer the measurement for that don't get anything over 18 inches tall for this one because it won't fit 18 inches is the limit and I think it's 33 wide worth of tape it's 33 wide let me measure this right quick It is 30 wide. By 24 front to back. 24 inches front to back. But you can get it without the slide if you like. I, 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 I wanted the slide. It comes with uh, cabinets. Mine came with cabinets because I wanted the deluxe cabinet. The one on top is crammed full of stuff right now, but uh, the measurement on it is 11 inches tall, 22 inches. Oh, uh, excuse me, 11 inches tall, 19 inches wide, and 10 inches front to back. And the one over here is the same, both of them. Uh, 10 inches deep, 10 inches front to back, 19 inches wide, and 11 inches tall for both of these shelves. Now the one on the bottom over here is 19 inches wide, 22 inches front to back, and 11 inches tall. And it's front to back because this is the pass through that goes all the way into the, to the cabin. Mine is equipped with uh, a stereo and TV. And with it, you can also watch uh, TV from inside or outside just by spinning this thing around I've got something blocking it right now I don't know what it is anyway I'll show you that when I get inside when I figure out what's blocking it it comes as an option I had them put uh, leveling jacks on it 
actually screw up and down and I can actually raise a tire off the ground with one of these jacks in case I need to change a tire or something it came with a dome light paper towel holder I put on myself let's see if I can close this right quick show you what it looks like with everything closed up that's what the back end looks like with it all closed up the doors on uh, gas gas shocks raise itself up again I've got the deluxe cabinet in the front and in the in the cab has a 10 gallon water tank and all the fuses and stuff are right here the uh, power inverter to switch from DC to AC is in the battery box up front and I forgot to show you it also has slow closing doors all the way around it has a spare same size as everything else the little upside down fender has a hole in it to drain water out of the other jerry can that it actually came with this one it was an option but they installed this one on there puppy food I just got a brand new puppy about a month ago this one came with an ARB awning. Again, that was another option. Uh, I'll do a, I, I also bought the, uh, what do you call it, the screening, screening room for the ARB awning. And I'll, I'll do another video on that all, all by itself. This crazy dog, she's getting all tangled up. Come here, girl. There. Good girl. Oh, oh, bad girl. There you go. Dallin. You crazy girl. Okay. Let's go inside right quick. Also, I happen to get blue as a color. I wanted, wanted it to match my Jeep. But it doesn't quite match. But hey, that's okay. Inside, got TV. And AM, FM uh, CD player. The other side of the pass-through. Cabinets. The bottom one's a pass-through. It goes through to the other side. Let me go open that. There we go. Passes all the way through. Uh, I think it's a, a 12 inch uh, TV. Let me grab my tape. The TV is a 15 inch oh, TV. Oh. This other set of cabinets over here. Let me get the measurements on those right quick for you. They are 11 inches deep front to back. Again, they're going to be 19 inches wide. Yeah, 19 inches wide and 11 inches tall. Let's 
So you've got three that are uh, that size, and then one big one over here has some mesh pockets to keep in little things. Has that on both sides. A few other things I put in myself, like the little hook up there for the clothes. Uh, it has uh, a fan up top with three speeds. They're not, it's not reversible. I'm sure you could probably get one of those if you liked. I tell you, this thing does suck a lot of air. Uh, I've got a leaf trapped in there right now making noise. But you open the side door, the side windows, the door windows a little bit, and turn this thing on, it'll create a suction. That's pretty good. I got rid of that leaf anyway. Okay. This also has cabinets up front and the headboard. These cabinets up front are probably six inches deep and it's they are five five foot wide. So, this one over here I've got uh, water bottles in it, spare water, uh, a little bottle of something over there. All kinds of things you can store in here, and that's behind the headboard. Uh, got reading lights. These are, I switched the bulbs to LED bulbs. Got three meters to tell you what your battery level is. One here, one there, and one in the galley outside. Uh, mine does have the installation for the Climate Right AC heater and dehumidifier. Uh, I don't have that unit yet, but the outside things are right here. Uh, I would suggest if you are thinking about getting one of these, let this, let the, the maker of the trailer install this for you because it, it'll turn out a lot better. I started to not get it, let him install them, but I said, no, I'm just going to do it because it'll look a lot better. The mattress on this trailer was a normal I think six inch foam mattress and I put a, a four inch on top of that for extra cushion. These doors, there's a little latch down here to hold it open so it don't get away from you. And they have double double locks from the outside. So a regular, regular lock you can lock from the inside, a deadbolt, and then when you're on the road, you lock both locks. You can't lock both locks from the inside. I don't know if that's a safety feature. I, I'm guessing it is. But it's a little dirty here because I've been doing a lot of uh, off-road traveling. Another LED night light. It's pretty bright at night too. Uh, let's see. What else? The front wheel is a double wheel. You don't see those very often on small trailers anyway. I did get an ARB awning, uh, 8x8, 
in, installed on mine. Plus, I put another one on this side that I, I use in uh, windier situations because you know this one that I installed was only a hundred bucks. The ARV is quite a bit more expensive, and I'd rather if something's going to get trashed. I'd rather it be the other one, but uh, this thing is pretty sturdy. I don't know if you're familiar with AR ARV awnings, but they're built right. I put another ARV on the back of the Jeep and another eight foot awning on, on the side. Uh, let's see, what have I forgot to show you? Oh, the luggage racks on top. Normally, if you get the uh, luggage rack option, it'll come with just two bars. This one in the front and the one in the far back. I asked him to put an extra one on. And he, I think he did that for nothing. I don't think he charged me at all. But the solar panels I put on myself. And... Uh, Perhaps I'll do a video on that all by itself, but mine, my solar panels will go up 90 degrees in either direction. Almost 90, about probably about 85 degrees in either direction. But uh, right now I'm hooked up to shore power, so I don't need them. Let me climb down off of this battery box. Okay. Like I said, the dry weight on my particular trailer is 16 to 1700 pounds before you put anything in it, before the jerry cans get full of gas. So that's 40 and 40. So there's 80 right there. Uh, plus the ARB fridge is heavy. Uh, If you guys uh, think you might want to get one of these, or maybe you li might like to see it in person, uh, hit me a, a message in, on the comments, and I will, uh, you know, within reason, I'll meet you somewhere, and uh, I'll show it to you. You know, I'm not going to drive a long ways, but you know, 50 miles or so. Or maybe we can uh, schedule a meet at a campground somewhere. You know, I live in South Texas, so uh, I'm not really likely to, to drive a long ways to show it to you. But if there's something else you want to see on the trailer, I will do a, a specific walk, walk around for that particular item. Uh, Pulls very well with my Jeep Wrangler. I pulled it, oh, I guess about 10,000 miles, maybe 12. Took it to Big Bend. I pulled it home from Alabama because I went to Alabama to get it. Uh, I have taken it down the beach quite a ways and uh, it pulled just fine. The fenders, by the way, you can stand on them. They are strong fenders. Uh, a little step right here. to help you get up there if you're shorter. You know, if you can do one step up with a, onto the fender, that's about 36 inches or so, something like that. Uh, the starting price on these trailers is, oh, I think it's 12.9, something like that. Uh, 
that's before any of the options get added naturally. Uh, I had all kinds of options that I added. So mine was, mine was quite a bit, you know, for me. Anyway, some people might not uh, think it was a lot, but yeah, it probably isn't a lot, but anyway, uh, I hope you guys uh, liked the video. Please leave a comment so I can answer it for you. Uh, I want to ask you to uh, give the video a like uh, and subscribe to my channel. And by all means, share the video with uh, people on social media. I've had the trailer now since April 25th, I think, of 2019. It is a 2019 model. I bought it brand new, it was special made. Uh, it took, oh, from the time I placed the order to the time I picked it up was, oh, like nine and a half weeks. Typical six to eight weeks, but I had some extra things done to it. You don't have to. Uh, getting warm out here. Right now I'm up uh, kind of close to Garner State Park in Texas. I'm a little bit north of there at a, a campground that my parents brought us kids to when we were little. So I've been coming here oh, over 50 years. You know, I, I've mi I pretty much missed the last 20. I've only been here once or twice in the last 20 years, but uh, Basically, I've been coming here since I was, you know, five, six, seven years old. Pretty neat campground. It is beautiful, too. This is uh, March the 16th. I'm taking this, or is it the 17th? One or the other, 16 or 17. I'm retired, so I don't, I don't need to know the exact date. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please leave a like. Subscribe to my channel and share the video. Leave a comment too if you don't mind. Uh, I hope, I know I'm forgetting something, but oh, the suspension on this thing. It does not have an axle. It has torsion suspension. Uh, this is a Dexter uh, suspension. Gives you a smooth ride. It doesn't bounce around very much at all. This thing actually has more clearance than my Jeep does. You know, at the, the very minimum, the clearance right inside the tires, oh, probably 15 inches. Something like that. And my Jeep, you know, the pumpkin on my Jeep is probably only, I don't know, 10, 11, something like that for the pumpkin, the differential. Alrighty, I'm gonna close this video because I'm, I'm hungry. I need to pick something to eat. And we'll, we'll quick look at the stargazer window. I was worried about this thing breaking from a rock driving down the road, but I've uh, been lucky so far. I've been down to, uh, in Big Ben, I was worried about kicking up a rock, but no problems. I probably put 40, 50 miles off road inside Big Ben Park, uh, and no, no worries. It did just fine. Alrighty, uh, I'm hungry, uh, I need to fix something to eat, uh, please leave a like, share, and subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it, let me go feed this dog, this crazy dog, and get myself something to eat, you guys have an awesome day, thanks.